Okay, here's a few days later. I just wanted to show you. I got the quarter glass, quarter top trim wrap. As you can see. I also got my fabric back, but I'm disappointed. I know I'm not no guru or poster guy, but I know good quality and bad quality. Somebody that take pride in their work, somebody that, that, that don't. Let me show you three things on this here, on the stitch. It's all right over here, I can deal with. But right there, they got off. Now I don't do a poster, but I'm pretty sure I could have done better than that. Look right here, goes up, come back down. Same way right here. It's just all going all kind of ways. Look like they rush. Look right there. But that's not the worst of it. Now I probably could have dealt with that. But this is what I can't deal with. See, I got it over where it needs to be on this side. But look at this side here. Now I can just look at this and tell that's not the shape of the quarter top. You see how it's slanted right here? It don't go like that. It's supposed to go straight down. Look at this side. Now this side right. Go straight down. But this side goes down and then comes over. And y'all tell me what's wrong with that. So once I lay this down here with some glue and I pull it tight because everything going to have to be right because this is going to have to be right with this top. So I won't have no wrinkles in it. But when I pull this tight, just say I'm pulling all this tight. And this going, my seam going to be on the side of the quarter top. Which it need to be lined up inside of here. All the way around. So what I'm going to do, I should have did it from the jump. I was going to order me a sewing machine and start doing a poster myself. That's what I should have done. But, tried to give them the benefit of the doubt, which I'm not going to talk bad about nobody, so we're not going to even speak on his name or who did it, but I know not to take no more a poster jobs to him no more. But I'm going to order me a sewing machine, so I don't have to worry about it no more. I'm going to start doing it myself, and we're going to do it in this video here. That's why I always say, let's learn together. We're going to learn together. I never did no poster day in my life but I don't watch plenty of videos on YouTube so I'm pretty sure I can do it so we're gonna order the console 206 RB I think we're gonna order that and when it come in we're gonna do some poster so y'all stay tuned I got some good news the sewing machine came in I was gonna bring it out here and set it up but I decided to set it up and I got a room that I was doing some remodeling I think I'm gonna use that as my sewing room until I expand my business, get a little bit bigger and, you know, a poster. But right now, I'm just going to be dibbling and dabbing, doing my stuff, stuff here and there. But I'm going to take y'all to the room, and I'll show you what we got. We'll unbox it, get everything set up, which I don't know what I'm doing because this is my first time doing a poster. But I'm going to watch a couple of YouTube videos. And we'll get it set up. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, here is the sewing machine, which I don't know. I know I got the the head, the motor. I got a servo motor. And this looked like the leg and drawer. I think that's the table. This, this 
some stuff I've been buying. I just been watching videos, thinking of some stuff that I might need for skin started. Some white thread. There's some gray thread here. Look at the box lady right here. Also, I got some more. I think there's some walking feet. Silvers. Just different stuff I've just been seeing on videos, stuff I might need, some needles, because I don't know what I'll come with it. Yeah, this is going to be my sewing room here. I've been doing some remodeling, but I quit because I really don't have time. But I got some seats here. Came from the 7 8 Impala. Might wind up doing those. Not for sure. But I'm actually using this room back here as a storage to be honest with you like up in here I got boxes I got a lot of paint stuff here body filler primer body filler contact cement fiberglass filler clear coat house of color clear coat urecam also got some stuff back here. This fun. This is some customer stuff. It's a car I got. I haven't showed y'all that car yet, so y'all get to see that later date. Kick a ASMs from my truck, my Silverado. But that's on another video. Let's get the uh unboxing this sewing machine. And then we'll figure it out. I guess we'll open this servo mode up. All right, I'm open the top, so I ain't gotta use the razor blade. What we got? We got some, I guess, instructions. You see here. Well, nothing about this here. See, we got a belt. We're gonna put this to the side. And here's the motor. Put that over here. Try to keep everything together so I know that's everything at that box. So we'll get that on out the way. And this is the head. I can tell the way the box looks. I hope y'all can see it. I hope I have enough uh, free space on my GoPro. If I don't, if it cut off, I'll cut y'all back on. See, we got some stuff in here. Let's see what we got. Got instructions. Look like we got some bobbins and some tools. Look like some oil. We got a belt. Oil of the head. Which I don't know what that is. And a toaster, guys, that know anything about this, get in the comment section, let me know. Give me some pointers or something, some tips that I might need to know. Because I'm new to this. I don't know what none of this stuff is. Never did in a storm in my life. But we're going to figure it out, though. Like I said, I'm trying to keep everything. All together. A Phillips head and a flat head. So it looks like it came with pretty much everything I'm gonna need for setting it up. We put that box up to the side. We'll put all this stuff back in there. Thank you. 
gonna be the head, yeah. I'm about to get it out the box. Might need to just cut the box. Y'all bear with me now. Once I get everything out, I'll cut y'all back on. It's head, pretty heavy. Get out take y'all through the pain of me trying to get all this over. I think old Sprayway done walked up the wrong tree. I didn't realize it was going to be this many parts that I gotta put together. I guess we'll walk around and I'll show you everything I got. That's the table. These are all the parts, bolts, washers, nuts for the table. The legs, I think they call these the K legs. Not sure. Y'all let me know in the comment section. That's part of the uh, legs there. Also this. Here's the servo motor. All this part of the servo motor. I'm gonna have fun trying to figure out all this, y'all. I think this part of the head, I kind of misplaced it. It's either the servo motor or the head. There's the belt. It's another belt. Oh, uh, this part of the head that came with the head. And they sent all the tools that I'm guessing that I'm going to need. Two screwdrivers, small. We got a Phillip head here. This is a, no, that's a flathead. Three flatheads and a Phillips. And we got a, uh, can't see, look like an 8 and a 7 and a 10 and a 11. Got some oil, I think these to needles, might be wrong. Bobbins, don't know what this is. And we got a parts book. Yeah, it's gonna be a task. Then we got an operating instruction book for the 206 RB5. I'm hoping it ain't bad as it look. Look pretty bad. Then we got the, I think this is for the servo motor. And here's the head. Look pretty sturdy here. Looks like they got some little fabric here. I guess just to test it out. 
I don't know nothing I'm looking at. Good thing we got YouTube. Because I've been looking at a lot of YouTube videos and that's been helping me out so far. But I'm not going to try to do no how to install, well, how to set up a console, console uh, 206 RB5 because we'll be here all day. So I think I'm just going to set it up, then cut y'all back on and I'll let y'all know how it go and how long it took. But this is what we got. But I might cut y'all back on along the way. Because I might set the table up. Yeah, I'm going to set the table up first and I'll go from there. Getting it slowly, but surely. I got the table set up here. The pedal, servo motor. I'm figuring it out. A little at a time. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos of different folks putting all of them together. Cause some of them don't tell you everything, so I gotta put it together. I put about four videos together. And got this far with it. Now, I think I'm gonna put the head on. Then the rest of it. We getting there. All right. I think I pretty much got it set up. As you can see. I might gotta do a little adjusting here now. But it's a piece that I really don't know where it go. I don't know if it's for the servo motor. This piece here. If anybody know y'all, let me know. I don't know if it's something extra or what. I know got some extra brushes. And the freeze here, extra one. Got the oil, I gotta put the thread, thread on. This this is gonna be for my top stitch. I'm gonna put white on the bottoms. I'm gonna try to spool some bottoms right quick. And see how that work. Then we got some needles. But I think I got it. We're gonna see if I can look at some videos and see if I can spool some of these bottoms. a day later been out here trying to tune in find a just the sewing machine watching free videos and doing a French scene top stitch so I can see it's coming slowly but surely I think I'm gonna do one in this canvas because this is the material I'm gonna be using first this canvas so I'm gonna cut some blocks somewhat like this here and we're gonna do it on camera. Show you how it's coming. I also got an LED light. Let's see if I can cut it on here. I got two for I think $14 off Amazon. It's a magnet. I also can cut it on here. All right, let me set you up then we're gonna cut this to size. Then I got some chalk as well off Amazon. Then I'll show you how it's working. What I done learned so far. Just so we'll cut it down, straight down the middle here. Cut this in half. Should be good. We're gonna turn it material over. 
Much of all the land. Right about right here. Give me a guy, something to go by. Good chunk. Y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Give me some pointers, tips. Like I said, this is my first time. Then I got this magnet I've been having. I seen some folks tape the thread up here. I'll put a clamp on it, but I got this magnet I'm going to be using. All right, y'all bear with me. I'm going to put a few more stitches in this here. I'm going to put it down to five. See, wait one second, let me show you. You can see the stitch. It's the front side. Now we gotta fold this on each side and do two top stitches. Make the front seam. All right, let, let me set you back up right quick. And we'll do that. Cut this, move this out of the way here. Cut this thread off. I can keep this down like I want it till I get started. And I gotta be perfect. We're just doing this for demonstration. Ready? We're just doing this for demonstration here. Well, we're back on, I think. My camera had that. But we're gonna top stitch, put a top stitch on both sides of that seam. Drop the needle. change my stitches. I want to put it about at eight. All right, we'll do it now. show you now you can see right here what I started out at five the stitch is real small but I put it up to eight I think that's the way I want them and I'm gonna put another top stitch on this side Do it. 
show you what we get. I don't know if this LED light making it look. Let me see if I can put you. Okay. Yeah, I can see it there. Yeah, I'll tell me what y'all think. Yeah, stay tuned. Stop. Right from the bottom to the top, from the ground up, we right from the bottom.